Hello possums, Drama Smith here. I felt really bad about the last episode. I'm sorry about the way that went, but, 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 but I am back because I have a solution. I have a solution. I have a big thank you to say to VR Addict who came up with a solution to my main problem and then I managed to fix my secondary problem myself. Woohoo! So main problem was, if you remember, this is still Tango's villager trading hall mechanism. The villagers drop six blocks, they get hurt. I tested that in the test world, they get quite hurt. So VR Addict, who has given me good ideas on a number of occasions and good advice and just seems to know all sorts of little things about the game that are so helpful. She said, put a piece of vine on. Oh, that works wonders. They fall, they hit the vine, they go neatly down onto their trapdoor. No damage at all. Um, I am having to work out how to stop the vine spreading. They won't go further up because that's a stair. They won't go further down because that's a trapdoor. But they were migrating sideways. I'll work it out. It won't be cobble. I mean, the mechanism will be built on cobble. The front of it won't be. It'll be something more attractive. I've got to work that out. But as to it being too tall, because it was sitting about 10 blocks up, um, I've dug out the floor of the hall. I'll dig it out further and put, I don't know, stone or parquetry or something. I'll work something out. But now I will step down into my trading hall. My villager will be here. I can trade. And the roof, while it will be tall, will not be quite as tall. I only go up about eight blocks instead of ten. And that doesn't sound like a big difference, two blocks. But visually, actually, it is. So, solution. Ha <laughs> ha. I will get on and build the rest of this. Oh, and... I will just show you over here, over here, over here. I have the, um, what do you call this? A tunnel, a pipe, a pipe. I have the pipe for the retired villagers to travel along. It's all lined. That's for redstone to go in, so that doesn't matter, but it goes down this side as well and then they will come out here into a pipe that will take them over to the village to retire. I have to work out where that's coming from. Definitely have to work out where that's coming from. I don't want my poor villagers freaking out. Anyway, problem solved. I'll build the rest of this and then I can think about the building that's going around it. Hooray! There we go. All built. I need to pop back into the nether and get some more glowstone. And at the moment I've got just a lot of dirt in as holding blocks while I decide what this place is going to look like inside. But we at least have all the redstone done. I think that's not too bad. This is in my creative testing world. See there's all sorts of bits and bobs out there and more out the other. I have been playing with designs for the trading hall and this is what I have decided on. Everything that's in here I can access right now. I don't have to wait till further on in the game. I don't have to go to the end or anything which let's face it is going to kill me and end the series. <laughs> but this is what we are going with for the inside. I still haven't finalized the outside, but I'm going to build this back in our other world. And hopefully next time um, I see you, I'll have this finished. I might even have the outside done, but I'm not promising. And I have tested this out with villagers. I ran them up a um, little water elevator and they went round. They all loaded fine. It's all done. So hopefully this is a bit more satisfying than what I dished up the other day. Um, if you have liked this, whack the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and if you do, remember to hit the notification bell. And I will see you in our trading hall 
in our other world next time. <laughs>